Greetings, this is Richard Ross with AccessLearningZone.com. I recently teamed up with Access Database Cloud to provide my students with an easy, cost-effective way to share Access Databases online with multiple users in any location. In this video, I'm going to show you just how quick and easy it is to set up a single file database with a shared folder for multiple users. Okay, so I'll get started by logging on to my admin account. I've got two accounts set up, one for my admin user, one for my regular user up here on the Access Database Cloud. Now, if you want to work with a second account on the Access Database Cloud at the same time, just open up an incognito window. That gives you a second browser window, but it'll use a different set of cookies and session variables. So you can use two different logins at the same time. So I'll log on to my second account. Here we go. And we'll connect. And there we go. Now I've got two different sessions open, one for my admin user, one for a regular user. This is imperative for proper testing, right? You wanna set stuff up under the admin account and you wanna be able to test it as one of your users as well. All right, so we'll just minimize this window for now. Okay, so here's my database file. It's my tech help database. I'm just gonna simply click on this, drag and drop it anywhere on that window. You'll see the file transfers box appear down here. As soon as it's done uploading, you'll see it stop making colors there. We can clear that. Go to your uploads from local folder right there. Let's move the tech help file to our desktop. Right click and drag. We're gonna drop it right there. Go to move here. Now we can close this bad boy down. Let's slide this up here. Let's give it a quick double click to make sure that it works. Now we're getting the access security notice. This we have to deal with for right now. I've got another video coming up in just a little while that I will show you how we can get rid of this security notice. If you've got the full version of access installed and not just the runtime, you can set up a trusted folder. But I got a video coming up very shortly where I'm gonna show you how to set up a trusted folder without having to install the full version of access. But for now, just click open and you can see there's my database and it's working okay. All right, but this is just a single file database and this is on this desktop. So we wanna move this to the shared folder. So open up Explorer, go to your C drive, which you'll find down under here. There's local disk C. There's the shared folder right there. Open that up. If you wanna put a shortcut to that on your desktop, you can as well. I'm gonna slide this over here so I can see my database file. All right, now I'm gonna move this, right click, drag into the shared folder, move here. All right, now, whatever's in this shared folder can be used by anybody, okay? So if I go to my other session, here's user two, open up Explorer, come down to the C drive, shared folder, there it is right there. All right, now what you wanna do is make a shortcut to this on the desktop, just a shortcut. Right click, drag, create shortcut there. So this is pointing to the file in the shared folder. All right, same thing over here. Right click, drag, drop it, create shortcut. Now both of these users have a shortcut to the database in the shared folder. And they both should be able to open it up. Again, ignore the security warning for now. All right, here's user two. Let's say this person changes this to 2222. All right, close it. Come over here, let's open the database up. And then you can see the changes have been made, okay? So it's that simple to set up a single file shared database on your Access Database Cloud between two or more user accounts, all right? It's very simple to do. Now, normally, on a local area network-based setup, like what you have in your office there with computers connected, right? I don't usually recommend setting up access to run this way because with, with different physical computers accessing the same file, there's always the chance of corruption, all right? It's much, much greater if you've got lots and lots of people using the same file. So that's why in a regular office type setup, okay, with a LAN, I recommend you split the database and everyone gets their own copy of the front end connected to the back end. With a virtual cloud PC setup like this, you're technically on the same computer. It's just different instances in memory, right? Working with the same file. So there's much, much less chance of corruption. Always keep good backups though. Remember, backup, backup, backup. 
Now keep in mind also, with this setup, if you're using a single ACCDB file like this, okay, everybody has access to the database file, okay? So if you got stuff in there that you want to keep hidden, like your VB code and that, there's nothing to stop them from downloading this file and taking it apart if they've got access on their full PC at home or at their workstation, or they could, e they could install Office on this machine, right? And still have access to get in there and mess with your database. So use this setup if you trust everyone on your team 100%, okay? That they're not going to intentionally or even accidentally mess with your database file. If you trust everyone, great. If not, then I've got other solutions for you. This is the simplest setup. All right, ideally what you should do is you should split this database. Everyone gets their own front end, okay, which is going to be an encrypted ACCDE file. We're going to put the back end in the shared folder and we're going to set up a hidden folder. I've got another video coming up to show you how to do that. This way, everyone gets an encrypted front end file. It loads up. It points to the back end database file, which is in a hidden folder that no one can see, but access can still get a hold of it. And I've got another video coming up to show you how to get around that registry problem, right? When you open up the database, you have to see this every time until you set up a trusted folder. But if you only have the runtime version of access on this machine, you have to know how to do that manually in the registry. I will show you how to do that in a future video as well. Okay, if you want to learn more, I got a lot of other videos to point you to. If you've never split a database before, watch the split database video. I'm going to do a second video just for Access Database Cloud and show you how to split a database there. That's coming up. But in the meantime, you can watch that split database video. Same thing with encrypting a front end database, creating an ACCDE file and putting some simple security on your database. Using the Access Runtime. I've already installed the Access Runtime on my Access Database Cloud machine, but if you want to learn how to do that yourself, there's a video for that. How to hide a folder, that's coming up very shortly. Hopefully by the time you're watching this video, that one will be done. But if not, just check back shortly. And also, oh, I forgot one. Setting up that trusted folder. I'm making a separate video on that as well. It's going to be a tech help video. I, I cover setting it up in Access Beginner 2. But I only show how to do it with having the full version of Access installed. So in my tech help video, I'm going to show you how to do it by editing the registry which you can do if you only have the runtime installed. And of course, if you want to learn more about Access Database Cloud, there's the link right there. You'll find links to all these that you can click on in the description down below the video. Go give them a click. So that's it. You can see how easy it is to set up a single file shared database using Access Database Cloud. And in the next video, I'll be doing it with a split database.